Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Garage Studio Maulers. I'm Dave Forrest of my good friend, Harvey Lowe. And today we're going to talk about, uh, very shortly, bases. Mm. Um, and, and how bases are a very, or pre-made bases. Pre-made like, bases. Like these ones from uh, from Barbican. So this is a, a little side hustle that Robert, our, uh, uh, the brains me on the outfit here at uh, Garage Studio Maulers, has. Where he designs and produces these uh, plaster bases that are really a great, quick way of creating a small little diorama or vignette um, and we have a, a few examples of them here so this is a, 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 a vignette that robert made uh and the same with this but this is one of my in progress uh, 148 skill uh, tamia sherman's uh, honor just to kind of show and it looks and you know, we were kind of talking about yeah. this before the episode how we weren't sure about the scale of this is this more 35th or or 48th and it looks good in either i think i think so right. yeah so it's a very flexible easy way uh, of enhancing and Robert will put a link in the comments yep. below. If anybody's interested in these bases, uh, you can reach out to Robert and, and connect and, and uh, figure out how you can uh, get a hold of them. Yeah, they look great. Look at the detail on these things. Yeah. The cobblestones and so yeah, a quick solution, right? Yeah, yeah just drop it, paint it. Just, yeah. all you, just uh, give it a give it a yeah. quick coat of primer, paint it. Very easy. There's lots of tutorials out mm -hmm. there on the uh, uh, on YouTube and the internet on on how to do these. Uh, and maybe maybe we'll do one at some point as well. Uh, yeah, because they're that, really. That I, sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, I have a few of these in my collection as well. I haven't, uh, I haven't used them because I don't do vignettes very much. But it's something. Yeah, something I really want to. I do want to get into. I noticed that it's all like it's it's fitting the size of a base that you could pick up at a Michaels or a craft store. And these are, I know Robert mentioned that these are ones that he'd made, right? Yes. Or got at, at Robert's or uh, at Michaels. You know, some are, are taller, some are thinner. Or that, their local dollar store. Yeah, yeah that's a great source as well this i believe robert mentioned is the old tamia yes yes sdfk sdf yeah. sdkfz yeah i'd like to do that that's cool so you know he's he's got it on the base you take it off the base you can see a close-up of how he's he's painted it it's very nice right added a bit of rubble i believe yeah a bit of rubble here and there but so it works. This is, yeah so this is actually that base there is actually this one and then there's added an there. added piece there of a kind of a part yeah. of a of a brick uh, a brick wall yeah uh, so robert has both those the bases and some of the, the wall sections as well that you can uh, you can inquire and, and ask about now the final note is is what if you guys do decide to enter a uh, model contest sometimes bases do add now if you're putting a model in the regular categories the base won't be judged but I, it does add a little character to situate the model in its context in its environmental situation right dave and without it it's kind of boring but it does it does add color if you can so i like the even for aircraft i like bases yeah right? yeah i agree and, and and you know these you have a lot of flexibility with these right like you can paint it so that it's looks like it's kind of at the corner of mm -hmm. young and st Clair. Yeah. those are good friends <laughs> to like to say yeah, it's, it's, an it's an inter inter intersection in Toronto. If it's too clean, <laughs> yeah, um, or you can do what Robert did on on this yeah. one here with the uh, with the anti aircraft yeah. uh, vehicle, pretty solid. Uh, where he's really just put a lot of rubble yeah. on it, and it's you know it looks like it's been through uh, something. Um, yeah. So yeah, so a great yeah, great little way of enhancing. Yeah. You know, just a quick uh, a quick update to to uh, display your model at a show or on your on your bookshelf, whatever the whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also important to note where you don't want to uh, tell we, we don't edit our filming we got to keep going keep going, going dave um it, a great way to uh to, to enhance these uh the splitting your models but also make sure that when you're when you're doing it you're not sitting it in so like sometimes with a picture frame you get you sit it it will like you want it to sit proud or even above the, the mm. picture frame mm. right to make sure you're elevating it mm. so it's not it doesn't sit sunken because if it's sunk in that's going to take away from the uh, from the effect, I, I you know, you know, as you're mentioning these, these things come to mind. Notice that the angle of the road is this way. It's always kind of boring if you just make it parallel to the edges. So that's it adds right. quite a lot of interest when it's angled. So he's done that here. So. Yeah, he's factored that into the yep. So nice work, Robert. Yeah. So if yeah, yeah. So like I said, Robert will have a, 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 a kind of a link down in the uh, in the comments if anybody's mm -hmm. uh, if anybody's interested in these uh, in these fine items. Great. All right. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.